Hey everybody, Real with Wes, welcome to Tuesday, coming at you guys, talking about this week to encourage you, how are you looking at things in life? How are you seeing trouble? We started with James yesterday, and we're going to continue right there with James 1, but I want you to walk through this process this week. These quick little three to five minute videos are meant to be a mini service to hopefully start you on this journey, if you're not already on it, to push you further down this journey, to change your perspective when trouble shows up. There is trouble constantly going on 24-7. Now, there's God's goodness constantly going on 24-7 too. And it's, well, let me just jump in the scripture because I there's like 20 things I want to go at. Um, really, I probably need to preach a whole message on this, but let's, let's get into this for encouragement. Uh, James 1, verse 2, it says, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles come, because they're going to come our way, when troubles come your way, consider, and we talked about yesterday, what are you considering? Uh, what is your perception of trouble when it shows up, by the way? What's your attitude towards it is what we really centered up on. Consider it what? An opportunity. What? When trouble comes, there's nothing opportunity. Yes, there is. That's, that's changing our perspective here. An opportunity for what? Great joy. Man, how can I look at my trouble and consider it as an opportunity to experience great joy? Well, it's, it's what you're thinking about when you see trouble. It's what you're considering. Do you consider it an opportunity? An opportunity for what? To experience great joy. What is that great joy? Well, I know when trouble shows up, and I've learned what the Word of God says, is God is involved in this whole thing. Now, what I mean by God's fault, he's not the author of the trouble. He's not the one wreaking havoc and bringing the trouble. But no, God shows up always in the midst of the trouble is what it does, turns it around, and causes us to experience victory. See, when I see trouble... All of a sudden, my response should be, God, I trust you. So the opportunity is to see God's goodness manifest in the midst of trouble. That's what I'm considering. This is an opportunity for God's goodness to triumph. Trouble is what it is. And what does that do? Joy shows up. Now, when does the joy show up? It doesn't show up at the end result. It shows up in the middle of my trouble. It shows up in the middle of my circumstances. It shows up in the middle of my pain, in my frustration, in my fear. And it combats that. Why? Because I'm considering something different. I'm not considering I'm going to fail. I'm not going to consider that this trouble will beat me. I'm not going to consider this trouble and how negative it is and all the destruction it's going to bring or any of that. No, I am considering this trouble is that God... <laughs> The God factor is what I'm considering. I'm being God conscious in this moment. That's what I'm considering. I'm considering him involved in that situation is what I is. And it's an opportunity to see God show up and show out, man. That's what it is. And that's where my joy flows from. I get excited. I'm like, whoa, trouble showed up. All right, God, let's, let's take this thing. It's your mentality when you go at trouble, though. And it can either be fear, doubt, defeat, uh, frustration, anger, all the negative toxic emotions that can come into it. Or when you see trouble, man, you can consider it as an opportunity. God, we got this. Not arrogance. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about confidence. There's a difference in arrogance. That's not faith. That's pride. I'm not talking about ego here. I'm talking about God confidence. Because when it becomes pride, I'm looking at me is what I'm looking at. Oh, I got this. I can whip this trouble. Listen, this trouble will whip me by myself every time. This trouble is bigger than me, but it's not bigger than God who is with me, who is for me because he loves me deeply. And that is the game changer every single time. Every single time. God is the game changer, man. And that gives me great joy. All right, live in joy, not because everything around you is perfect. No, there's trouble maybe all around you, but I can still live in joy each and every day, no matter what trouble shows up, because I know in the end of this thing, God's got me. God's got the situation. All right, guys, live in victory, live in confidence, and view your trouble today. Shift it from defeat to knowing, man, God will change this thing, man, and you're going to see such a joy you've never experienced before. All right, guys, get you tomorrow.